Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Mukesh's Tech Space. If you are new here, I post video tutorials on AWS LightCell, Azure, and many uh, easy to set up web hosting tools and services. So if you're a beginner in the web development world or, um, or if you're just interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking all of my videos. This video will be about email and custom domains. I've shown you a video on setting up a custom domain with a, a provider called Zoho Mail. It's a free, they have a free service that you can set up your own custom uh, emails uh, for your domain. Uh, we walked through a video on setting up uh, email relay with Send in Blue as a service. And of course, we've uh, done a video on setting up your Gmail account to work with your um, WordPress site using the WP Mail SMTP plugin. In this video, I'm going to show you yet another option on uh, setting up a custom domain email. And in this time, we'll use our very own Gmail account. Uh, this tutorial will enable you to use Gmail as the account to receive your emails from your custom domain as well as send emails. It's a very simple setup process and it doesn't cost anything uh, besides the cost of your uh, you know, domain, of course. What we'll also do is set up a, a sample WordPress site and I'll show you how to use the WP Mail SMTP plugin with this setup as well with your custom domain that we'll set up in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you'll want to do is create your Gmail account. Now you can use your uh, an existing Gmail account that me that you may have, uh, but if you wanted to keep things separate for this custom domain emails, then you'll want to create a Gmail account. Um, for example, in this tutorial, I'll be using my domain mukesh.digital for setting things up. So if I wanted to keep it separate from my Gmail account, I would create one called uh, mukeshdigital at gmail.com and then you can set up everything inside that account. Um, so if you want to do that, go ahead and create a Gmail account, go through its setup process and log into your Gmail account. Okay, so now we should have our Gmail account set up if you chose that route uh, to set up a, a separate Gmail account for this uh, domain. Uh, I've done that here. The next thing we'll need to do is go into our domain registrar and uh, for me, if you've seen my previous videos, I prefer uh, name.com for most of my domain registrations. And I've also started using uh, Google domains as well. So once you've logged into your domain registrar and um, you may want to check if they have email forwarding capabilities. Um, if they don't have it, then you, like, you won't be able to use uh, this tutorial. Uh, and if they don't have it, then I suggest you to either move to name.com or um, Google domains or some other ones that provide the email forwarding uh, feature as part of your domain registration. So mine, uh, what I'm going to do is type in uh, email at mukesh.digital. That's the email that I want to set up and I want to forward it to the Gmail account that I just created. So it will be Mukesh dot digital email at gmail.com and then hit add record so once this this is added what it will do is send you a an email at your gmail account for confirmation uh, i think sometimes it does that and sometimes it doesn't so if you do get a confirmation email just walk through it and confirm that you do want to set up this forwarding and uh, that will then set up email forwarding so our one part of our setup is already done which is the receiving of the emails now you can give this new email out to anyone and when they send an email to uh, that account in our case email at uh, mukesh.digital then that email will get forwarded and land into our uh, Gmail inbox. The next thing that we'll do is uh, set up the configuration to send an email. And we're going to use a feature in Gmail called email aliases for this purpose. So uh, what you could do is go to accounts.google.com. And once you go to accounts.google.com, it will bring you to this screen. Now, 
if you, um, th so the next thing you will do is click on security. And here um, we'll go and create app passwords with this link right here. Now, if you created a new Gmail account like I did uh, for this purpose, uh, then you will not see app passwords right away. So what you'll want to do is turn on two-step verification. Once you have enabled two-step verification, then you will see the app passwords link right here. So click on app passwords. It's going to ask you to verify and sign in again. So go ahead and sign in one more time. And that'll bring you to this screen. So what you'll click here is select app, click on mail, and then select device, select other, and then give it a descriptive name that you'll remember if you come back here again. So you could just say Mukesh.digital emails and then hit generate. And that will give you a 16-digit password that you'll want to copy and or you know paste it somewhere or copy or write it down um, so that's what we'll do here and don't worry by the time I've uploaded this video I have deleted this app password then the next thing that we'll want to do is go back to Gmail okay and then let's go back to Gmail so within Gmail You'll cl click on settings and then click on see all settings. And then on the settings page, click on accounts and import. And then right here, send mail as. So we'll click on add another email address. So that'll pop up a new window. And then we can go ahead and type in anything you want. So Mukesh digital emails. Uh, for a name and then this will be the email address that we set up uh, for our domain so this would be mukesh.digital email at mukesh.digital and then make sure that treat as an alias is selected click on next step and then here we're going to type in smtp.google.com or I think it's smtp gmail.com and then our username will be the gmail account username so for me this will be at gmail.com makesh.digital email at gmail.com and the password will be that 16 digit app password that uh, we created so go ahead and copy that and paste it and then keep uh, TLS option selected and the port should be 587 hit add account And on this screen, uh, if you get to this screen, then what it will do is send you a confirmation email on your Gmail account. And, uh, and then you'll want to follow the steps in that, in that email. So there's a couple of things that you'll have to do when you get that email. One is there is a code, a six digit code, I think, that you'll want to copy and paste right here and verify. And then there's also a link that's in the email. So let's go ahead and open and see if we received that email. Uh, okay, one thing I think I might have made a mistake. Let's go back to our settings. I think I typed in the wrong email address that I had set up. So let's go to accounts and import. So this is not my email. So let's go ahead and delete this. Add another email. I'll leave that the same. In this case, it's email at cash.digital and, and let's set up this again okay so now let's see if I received that email okay so Gmail confirmation so here is the code it's not six digits it's more than six digits go back to this window here and click on verify so that's done. The second thing you'll want to do is click on this link and then 
that will confirm that you want to send email as email at makesh.digital or your custom email. And that should be good to go. Then when you come back here in your Gmail account, click on compose. And then you'll see right here that you can send email as uh, your custom domain email. So you can pick that and then send off emails within uh, your Gmail interface. Now what we'll do next is show you in the WordPress side using the WP uh, SMTP uh, plugin how to set this up for your website. So we'll do that next. Okay, so here I have a WordPress site. I'm logged into the uh, WP admin and I've downloaded and activated the WP Mail SMTP plugin. Um, here on the from email, we can put our custom domain email, which was email at mukesh.digital. And then just go ahead and click on this and then type in a domain or a from name. And then we can force that as well. And then here from our mailer section, you'll want to select other. And then here we can type in the SMTP uh, host that we did before, smtp.gmail.com, select TLS. And then your username and password will be the Gmail username and password. Uh, Gmail username, but the app password that you created in our previous uh, steps. So our email is mukesh.digitalemail at gmail.com. And the password is our app password. And hit save. And your settings were saved successfully. Now we can do an email test and we can do Mukesh, um, or we could just say email at mukesh.digital. And if you hit send, email was sent successfully. So now we should have received that email. So in this way, we can set up our custom emails in WordPress using the WP Mail SMTP plugin. So that's it. This is yet another way on how to set up custom emails uh, for little or no cost besides the uh, domain registration cost. Um, if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, like it, um, share it with others, and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. So until the next video, take care.